Hey, what's up, my little puppet? Oh, honey. I thought I lost him. When it was dark, I didn't even realize that I hadn't even put the line through the last guide, but the bite is hot right now, so no sense in re-rigging this. Had a, three crappies, maybe maybe four, one got off. But uh, two crappies and now the bluegills are biting before I came. Of course. This first rod that I'm out here using guys is one of my demo rods and as I mentioned at the beginning of the video I didn't even feed the line through the last guy so just notice that the rod tip is a little bit straighter as I'm hooking up on fish here but man these bluegills these tiny little guys I'm still able to detect those bites just fine I was super impressed with this one you'll kind of notice me switch rods here in just a minute but man I could hardly tell a difference uh, between this one and the other ultralight rod that was pretty insane to me I couldn't believe how sensitive it still was even though I was uh, about three inches farther back from the tip another hole. Who doesn't love the sound of a floppy crappie? I'm going to get set up with the other rod. Notice the tip is going to look a little different, but fishing these rods back to back, I could hardly tell the difference between those light bites uh, on either of these two ultralight rods. So that was super impressive. Couldn't believe it. I haven't needed the flyers the whole morning. Until now. Because I just like this color. So as I'm watching myself on camera editing this video, I was just laughing because I'm just imagining everybody watching this part and the fact that I didn't cut it out. But what made it so funny was it's just so relatable. I mean, everybody's had these moments they're out fishing and they, they struggle. But uh, man, this was such a fun morning. 
uh, slaying those bluegills, just ripping some lips on some crappies. I had a great time. When it rains, it pours. Just when you thought the struggle was over and you're finally getting the hook out, the fish pokes you again, you knock the bucket over, and then it's super slippery. The thing is four inches long. I can hardly get this guy back in the hole. Come on, man. Let's just get back and get to fishing already. But wait, there's more. Hook up on the biggest crappie of the day. Can't get the Vexlar out of the way. Now finally do. Hooks on the side of the hole. No longer in the crappie's lip. Where did he go? That was the biggest one. That was a nice crappie. That was bigger than the other two. After I dropped this one back in the hole, it was pretty much done from there. The morning bite was over. It was time to start packing up and heading home, especially since this morning I had forgotten my gloves in the car, so I was just relying on these hand warmers to keep my hands warm. After about an hour, hour and a half, it was time to head back and get my hands warmed up. And that's easy to do when you're in the kitchen working with a hot skillet. So. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. One quick pro tip I want to give you guys is if you're going to cook your fish in some butter, make sure you put a layer of oil down first. That way your butter doesn't burn. hands washed here so that I can start with the spices. First up is going to be the salt followed by some pepper and then in the next clip once we zoom in here I'll be able to show you guys the other spices that I used on this dish. My wife really liked it so I hope you guys maybe try it and that you like it too.
thank you guys for watching. We hope you enjoyed this catch and cook with a little recipe. If you're looking to customize an ultralight panfish rod, please visit our website at freshwatercustomrods.com. But there's something that is always free, which is subscribing to the channel. If you guys want to see us build rods and make memories here, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.